What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're back with a little bit more high quality imagery here on my actual camera that I do like all my photo shoots and stuff with versus my iPhone which my last couple videos have been. So for today I'm going to kind of do an updated like everyday carry video. This is going to be short and sweet to the point. Um, things that I carry with me. So we're going to do an updated everyday carry video. If you hear any weird sounds, it's my dogs in the background and construction out front. So anyways, um, yeah, so pretty much very similar to my original one, which you can look back. I'll probably link it in the description. So this is going to be obviously the gun that I carry every day as well as some gear um, and just kind of random stuff like what's in my purse, which is kind of silly, but that's just what we're gonna do today. So, we are gonna start out with the thing that you're really here for. The thing that you're really here for. So, we're gonna go over my new holster. Um, I still love Alex and Ryan design. That is still an amazing holster. Um, again, look at the back. Look back at the last video that I did um, a couple months ago. That'll show you that holster. I really love it, but I just got a new custom holster that I'm really excited to show you guys. It was made by Eclipse Holsters. Um, they reached out to me and I hadn't heard of them before and now I am so grateful and so obsessed. So first, we're gonna go over that. So I'm just gonna show you the holster. Let's hope that it focuses. So if you can see, it has German Shepherds on it and little cactuses. I like like succulents and things like that and obviously I have a German Shepherd. Not to say that my Golden Retriever Daisy isn't an amazing dog, I just have a really special bond with Recon, my German Shepherd. So it has, I really hope it's focusing. If it's not, I'll insert a photo so you can see it better. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram where I also post. So again, this was made by Eclipse Holsters, you can see eclipseholsters.com. Jessica over there, she is amazing customer service. Like I can't even say enough good things about them. Um, they had this out to me in probably, I think I had it within two weeks of placing the custom order. Like, are you kidding me? So my new favorite holster because it's just special to me. The sweat guard comes up nice and high. Um, the retention, everything about it, it's really nice. It fits well on all of my pants. Um, right now I'm wearing leggings and it sits well and fits well on my leggings. It stays in there securely because my leggings are really tight. So um, again, Eclipse holsters, amazing. And then um, I'm just gonna put it here. We're good. So we've got my Glock 43. It has the Jaeger work slide work on it, gives it a little bit more, um, makes the slide easier to pull back. I love it. Um, just kind of adds a little extra to it. Obviously, male, female, you want a cool looking gun. You just saw me check it. It's clear, there's nothing loaded, so if you see me pointing it around, don't come for me in the comments, it's fine. Um, we got the Streamlight TLR6 flashlight, again, We've gone over all this in the last video. I don't have a custom trigger. I don't have anything special with my trigger yet. Um, this is just what I wanted. I kind of was torn between the Glock 42 and the 43. Ultimately, I ended up going with the 43 because I like the 9mm versus the 380. Personal preference. I just prefer the 9. Uh, most of our, well, most of Hunter's guns are 9 anyway, so the more of what we buy, it's just easier for us to pretty much only purchase one bulk amount of ammo versus two. Um, I do have the Terran Tactical base plates on this specific magazine to give me two extra. I don't want a whole lot, like this already kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, makes it a little bit less concealable, but it's worth it to me for the two extra rounds. I personally do not carry a round chambered. I think that is personal preference. I know the ideal thought process behind it is the time it's going to take you to rack the slide, get around in there, and shoot it off. I personally, I mean, I know the fundamentals. 
I am a safe gun owner and a safe gun handler. I personally just do not want to carry chambered. In the future, I may, as I get even more comfortable with guns, I've currently only been shooting and handling guns for four years, but um, carrying for, let's see, I'm 23, like two years now since I was 21. So personal preference, I don't carry around chambered. So I can carry eight rounds with this magazine. I carry two extra magazines as well. Um, not with the extended base plates yet. I should, I just haven't gotten around to it. So um, I carry this one in my gun and then two extras either in my pockets or in my purse just to have, especially when I go out of town. We got car keys. I really like this patch keychain that I got from Tam Fam Graham, I believe is what he is on Instagram. It says, I shoot pixels and bullets. Hopefully that's clear. Um, again, if it's not, I'll insert a picture. I just really enjoy that because that kind of sums me up. Also, a lot of people, because these always sell out really fast, so um, we've got that. I always carry a GoPro when I drive. I don't have a dash cam, but I do have this mounted in my car, and I take this in and out of my vehicle because people don't know how to drive, and if I get in a wreck, I want it on tape, and not even that. I mean, you just see crazy stuff if you capture someone else's accident. I don't know. Um, Hunter started me on that too, especially now that I have a newer car. I really, really, really want documentation if someone decides to hit me. So I carry a GoPro. And I'm not going to go through everything in my bag. I'm just going to go through like the important things because nobody wants to sit here and watch me clean out my purse, you know? Um, we've got a massive wallet that carries no money in it because I'm broke. Yeah. And then there's really only two other things that I want to go over that are in here, and that is, and this is probably all sorts of messed up here, probably has hairs all in it, a tourniquet. I personally think that everybody should carry a tourniquet. My personal opinion, especially gun owners, uh, Hunter got me this orange one so that would, if I could speak, that would be great. There's just a lot of distractions. I'm like right in front of my back door or my dogs are outside like attacking each other. So anyways, <clears throat> so you got me the orange one so that'd be easier to find in my purse. My purse is kind of like small and like full. So it's hard to kind of get around and find things. So because it's orange, it stands out a lot. So anyways, back to what I was saying. I think everybody, especially gun owners, should carry tourniquets because my personal belief is if I'm carrying a tool that can end someone's life, I need to also be carrying a tool to save someone's life. It's morally just makes sense to me. Um, and you don't have to agree with that because we're all entitled to our own opinions. I just think it's important to have. You never know when you're gonna need one. I really need to work on practicing with it. Um, Hunters showed me how they work. We've taken first aid classes for CPR and kind of went over tourniquet use but I definitely need more practice. So that is something that I can work on. Um, and maybe that's something that I'll work on in a couple of videos is just practicing with that, um, kind of go over, I, I'm not an expert at all by any means or a professional. So I don't think maybe I should give tips on that, but um, maybe that's something that I'll just work on and practice in a video now that I'm kind of getting back to it. So I carry the tourniquet as well as combat gauze. Like it's made by Quick Plot. A hunter got all of this stuff for me to carry in my purse from NorthAmericanRescue.com. Um, follow them on Instagram if you want to see some gory stuff. That's it's a pretty cool Instagram account. So those are like the main important things that I carry. I carry my gun. I carry a couple medical supplies. I probably should carry more medical supplies, but those aren't enough to kind of get me by in case of an emergency. I what was I pulling out of here? Oh yeah, here's my two extra magazines. Uh, I believe these just came with the gun. I don't think we bought them. We may have bought one or oh, I, I don't know. So I carry a total of three magazines, one in the gun, two extra um, either in my pocket. I do have from, uh, oh gosh, who makes it? G code. I do have like a put it on your belt little, I don't know if you call it a holster. I don't, if you know what it's called, put it down below, but I do sometimes, if I'm out shooting, I will put extra magazines in that. It's really nice. I just don't want it outside of my waistband 
or just kind of more visible if I'm just out and about on my daily life. So I don't use that. I just put them in my pockets, which I don't know if that's the best. I should also really work on mag changes and things like that if I were out and about in the world from my pocket. So that's something that I can work on as well. There's a lot of things that I should work on. I've been really lazy with dry fire and really lazy with obviously going to the range. It's been a really long time since I've gone. I think Hunter went without me a couple months ago. Before that, I couldn't tell you, so I really need to work on getting out again. But I just kind of wanted to put out a quick video today. I'm still enjoying being back with YouTube, and I don't know what my next video is going to be, but I'm really going to try and do at least one video a week for all sorts of different topics. It's just fun. Um, gives me something to do. Hunter likes to play uh, Rainbow Six Siege pretty much every Saturday night, so if I film on Saturday mornings while he's at work, then I have something to do while he plays video games and we can kind of hang out. It's a good time. That's how we bond as husband and wife. Um, so yeah, those are the basics of what I carry every day. If you're interested in more stuff like this, let me know. I also carry a giant water bottle every day. That'll be the last thing I talk about. Uh, it's got Tick Liquor Firearms engraved on it, my favorite local gun shop. Um, they're great over there. So I always am very hydrated, which is also important. I could definitely drink more water. I try and drink at least one of these a day, which I feel like for my body size, that's a lot of water. Like that's as big as my head. Like, are you kidding me? So uh, I try and drink one of those a day. Hunter drinks like five of them. I think that's crazy, but he's also like 6'3", so he's a big guy. Anyways, those are the important things that I carry in my purse, and um, if you carry anything that you think is equally as important that I should add to my purse that I should carry every day, comment down below. I'd be really interested to hear what you think would be a good idea, and um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys who stuck around while I wasn't posting, and the new people who are subscribing every time I post a video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you next week. Bye!